Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann. Uh, in my previous video, I showed you all that I was in this binder. It's a daytime non leather binder, personal size, with 23 millimeter rings. And I showed you the setup of that, and I also discussed with you the features of this binder, which my sister purchased from me in California when she was there last time. But <coughs> because of all the things that I've been dealing with, I am back to my Franklin Cubby with 1.75 inch rings, which I call my battle binder because these days it really feels like I'm going to battle every day with all of the things that are thrown to me, aside from the things that I have planned to deal with. There are so many things that get thrown to me at the last minute, so I have to deal with those as well within the day, so every day feels like a battle, but in a good way, because if, if I'm able to deal with all of them, it means that I am cooking, and I am still active and healthy and lucid, and I can make a pretty decent decisions. And I'm just glad that, I'm also glad that things kept being thrown my way, because that means that people think that I can be trusted to do those things. So, um, I'm not really complaining, but the thing is, I have to have a binder or an organizer that can be up to that, that can that can give me what I need so I can deal with all of that. So I'm back to this. I'm now calling this my battle binder. I should name it General So and So <laughs> because this is this is this situation is really what I use this for. Now let me show you the setup of this. <coughs> uh, this has two pen loops and I use I actually use just one pen these days. It's really just the Coletto Lumio with four colors, orange, black, green, and blue. These are the, the colors that are available locally because I no longer want to purchase online the Coletto refills because the Coletto refills themselves are very cheap, but the shipping is so high and I already need just four colors anyway. So I put that there. <coughs> oh no, I, I, I do it like that. And then here I have a secretarial pocket which carries um, things that have to be filed or uh, extra bank deposit slips or transfer slips that are blank. This is for a card that I have to activate when I get somewhere and electricity bills. Things that I have to deal with that just came in that I have not punched yet that goes here. And then I have this page lifter that came with a day timer. There was only just the one. I wonder why there's just one when it usually comes in pairs. So this is page lifter, and you've already seen this. An inspirational um, fly leaf for my planner. It says, God is my being, my shelter, and my force field. How very appropriate when you're going into battle. And then this is one of my favorite poems. If you're getting me by Pablo Merida, it's the English translation. And then I have here, this has been in or, all of my organizers forever, my business card. And then the first section is the me section. I'm using the Muji uh, dividers for the top tabs. These are really, really very durable. They're made of very stiff round card stock. And it's kind of thick. See that? It's really thick. <coughs> Over here, I have a ton of cards. I've already pared this down to the, the the various essentials, but these are what I use every day. And I really, these are the stores from which I purchase like several times a week, sometimes a couple of times a day. So this should be on here, especially this one. And I do a lot of mailing from my Etsy store. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> just recovering from a cold. And since I swim, I need this card for when I have to buy, like, new, a new swim cap or something. And Starbucks, of course. And this is the uh, warehouse um, outlet store that I go to. And this is actually 
I tried to return this, but they said I could keep it. It's uh, a corporate giveaway. It's a flash drive. I think it's 4 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte flash drive. Shaped like a credit card, so it fits on here. <clears throat> and over here I have the, the, the zip pouch, which, which came with a day timer. And in it I keep cash and receipts that have to be filed. And over here I have my car registration. And this is my etc. tab. This is actually my capture pages and the things that I have to deal with. Every time I purchase from a drugstore, they have a promo. You have to register the amount that you purchase and the OR number. So you get an electronic raffle ticket. And this is for a, another reward card that I'm waiting to get delivered to me. So until it gets delivered, this stays on here as a reminder. And <coughs> this is for a warranty of a, an iPhone case. And this one is, well, I have to file this away because this is the stock receipt exchange for two defective products from Speedo that I already returned that I got store credit from and I already availed of that store credit. List of Jason's tag and movies because, you know, when the going gets tough, you get depressed and you're sick. Watching Jason's tag and movies always makes me feel better. <coughs> Aside from reading geeky, geeky books. So these are just notes, notes, and notes, and notes, and notes. Over here are notes for projects that have... Uh, this is for my blog updating, ideas for my blog, and I have a lot of ideas for my blog, but I cannot execute them. I cannot write because I'm so busy. <coughs> Sorry. Notes, 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 and more blank grid paper for notes. This is the etc. section. Next I have the medication section. I actually have real medication on here. These are my mood stabilizers and I usually also have my emergency Valium in here but I took them already so I have to restock just a couple, two or three is enough. And then current prescriptions for my psychiatrist, gynecologist, for my um, cardiologist, hormonologist, stuff like that. <clears throat> and I have my hormone calendar for my hormone deficiency. And I already went on ahead and printed the 2015 calendar. It's back to back so I can archive per year. Here, I will archive this at the end of the year and then I'm going to start with this. Unless my gynecologist still needs this for reference. In which case I'll keep it on here. And I also have my MW section, which stands for Married Women, which is the title of my book. My publisher gave me a hundred copies to either give out or sell, and some of them have been sold and some of them have been given away. But I'm just tracking who I gave them to. So these are their names and stuff like that. And now I have the journal section, a blank template for when I draw tarot cards, sometimes I do that, but not very often. <clears throat> now I have the line sheets for journaling using fountain pens. And I also have here several blank sheets for when I want to journal using my typewriter. Because I'm starting to use it again. I don't want it to fall into disuse and, you know, have the grease. Um, turn into solid and then I can't use it anymore because it's stuck and the springs are sprung or the mechanism doesn't move anymore because the grease has turned into something solid <coughs> I didn't want that to happen so I'm reserving these pages for when I actually use my typewriter to type my journal entries and then I have my daily pages have here the usual envelope for the indie boxes which carries paper patches, hyperdex patches. And over here I have a task list and I'll get back to this later. I just wanted to show you the August. I've already archived most of August because it's getting too thick. 
but these are the August pages. So I'm just waiting for the month to be over so I can archive everything and then do a flip through video. And then here are my September pages. Um, I have tweaked it again if you compare it to the August pages. <coughs> first of all, the heading is different because I'm starting to find this a little bit cluttered. There's so much writing on the page. Hold on. There's so much writing on the page. It starts to get a little bit... This one is... <clears throat> it just looks like clutter to me. So I went on ahead and just made a gray box. And then there's the year, the day, the month, and the day of the week on there. And... Um, Still the usual, except for, I changed the layout of this a bit. This is the August layout. I have my task box for work, personal. I have here the, the, the monitoring boxes, the tracking box for my mileage and gas usage. Because it's an old car. And then I have here my swimming tracking box and then skincare because I swim a lot and it dries out the skin and <coughs> this is never the same. What happens here depends on how long I was in the water and what time I was in the water because if I'm in the water in the daytime, I use a different kind of skincare afterwards. And then there's a task list for my Etsy store, task list for my university, and then I have here a box for writing down what TV shows I watched, movies I watched, a book that I read for the day, what short story I was working on for the day, and the devotionals. Now I have tweaked that a bit. The left page is the same, but I tweaked the right hand page a little bit. I raised the two boxes up to here and moved these three boxes down because these boxes are my task list and will contain what is supposed to happen for the day. And these are boxes for what did happen during the day. So I, I didn't really, it's not much of a difference, but I just thought that it would be more appropriate if the boxes of the to-dos for the day will be closer together and the boxes for what actually happened during the day will also be in one line and um, won't be disrupted by the boxes that are over here which should be up there. So that's really just very simple and most of you won't even think that it matters a lot but it doesn't really matter a lot to me either but I just thought that it was not appropriate that way and my eyes can just scan from here to here to here to here without being disturbed by <coughs> the boxes over here. So there, those are my September pages and I kind of like them and um... I think I'm going to stick with this for September, see how it goes, and then I, if this all goes well, then that's the format and design that I will use for my October pages as well. <coughs> now we go to the next section, which is the monthly. Uh, since I already have printed out the September daily pages, I have here only from October until the end of the year, but I also went on ahead and printed out the monthly pages for 2015. That's January to December 2015. And now I didn't put my on here anymore because I hardly ever write anything here. And if I do need to write something at the back of the monthly, I can just write it down there. I don't really need the lines. So that's it. <coughs> and these teeny tiny boxes are okay with me because I write very small. If you remember how my handwriting looks like, see it's really really small. 
And now this task list is the same design as my daily pages. The same gray box and it's the same typography for the uh, day and the month. And then the next section would be my university section. I have here the matriculation forms, past and current, and the academic calendar. There, I just printed this out from the website. And then these are my, this is my study plan for the next five years. This is already completed. I should put in there what grade I I got and this is these are the two subjects that I'm enrolled in for the semester and when the semester is over I should put there what grade I got and so on and so forth so I will not lose my way. And this is the process or the flow chart for when you are for when I am already ready to do my thesis. So just so I don't lose my way and waste time, I put that on here. <clears throat> and then I have the finances section which I won't show you guys anymore because of confidential information that's on there. And lastly I have the GSIS section which is for my day job which contains really just the, the local office directory. There. Now this is my battle binder. I, ha I have here the DIY page lifters that I made which are thin so I put two together and I think it works. And then uh, over here I have small jot pads for for those. So I don't know what this is. I put it here. Jot pads for uh, extra extra paper jot pads for when I need to list something down very quickly, and then I just pop them into the rings on the day that they were created, and then that's it. And then over here, lastly, I have my personal size notepad. I have the carbon copy so that if I am writing a note to someone and I need a copy, I can just put this over and then write uh, on the sheet and then give the original to that person and then I still have a copy of the things that I wrote down, especially if it's a list or instructions or due dates. I have to have a copy of that and it's in exactly the personal size so I can pop it into the maybe here if I need to um, just so I will be working with the same size paper all throughout it will be easy when I file this stuff <coughs> excuse me so this is it. This is the setup of my Franklin Cubby with 1.75 inch rings. As you can see, it is perfect for the 1.75 inch rings. And this will be a little bit thinner, especially when I uh, take out the August two pages per day. And I call this my battle binder because um, this, is, this is really, really what I need to, to face the day and do everything that is on my plate and you know I work with the police force with, with the paramilitary and in case they bring me to battle again because it has happened more than once I can just zip this up <coughs> the zipper still works though but I haven't zipped it up in a long time so it kind of takes time but I can just slip these up and um, see it's gotten stuck here because I never zip this up. I'm going to zip this up and then put it in a ziplock bag and that way if I have to roll around in the mud I won't ever worry about my pages getting wet or something. Literally. A binder goes into battle, and even my iPhone is, is equipped to go into battle because, interestingly enough, I'm using my iPhone to film this, so I can't show you the actual case. But the case I'm using is the Life Proof Fray. It is fully submersible, up to 6.6 .6 feet or two millimeters, for 30 minutes. 
It is totally sealed from dirt and dust. It is completely close to snow and ice and it survives drops from up to 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meters. <coughs> and I have attached a lanyard to it and there is a glow-in-the-dark uh, band uh, at the start of the lanyard so that when I'm in very very dark conditions I can still see where my phone is without asking for anyone to make it rain. So this is the life proof together with my binder. These are my armaments for <laughs> dealing with my day. And um, I used to have another binder. I, I told you about this before. I've mentioned this before and I've shown this to you before. I used to have this small second binder. It's a very cheap non-leather binder that I bought from a bookstore nearby. And it used to contain my um, capture pages for work and my, this one, this section. This section used to be on here. But this doesn't work anymore. The two binder setup in which I leave this at work, because this is a work directory and it's here, so I leave this at work and then carry the rest of the binder with me every day. It doesn't work anymore because sometimes when I'm driving to work, I haven't reached my office yet and then I get a call from the camp asking me to go over. So when I'm in the camp, sometimes I have to call some people at the office and I don't have their numbers. So I have to keep their numbers with me all the time. And <clears throat> that's just how it is when you are me and you have a whole lot of things to deal with all at the same time. So. This is it. This is my battle binder. Colonel General Hugo. There, that's the name. <laughs> and you've all been witness to how I named it. This is General Hugo. My battle binder. And this is the setup of it. And I love it. And um, I actually have... I actually have two binders coming my way. One is the Daytimer non-leather binder personal size with black 30 millimeter rings which I purchased from someone on the Facebook group that I belong to and it will be here um, next week and I'm really excited about it because I love black rings and the fact that it's 30 millimeters is already a big plus for me and also I have another binder on its way to me it's a rack from a Facebook uh, friend that I belong to in a Facebook group and it's a snap binder a binder with a snap closure uh, and it also has big rings I think it's 1.5 inches and um, a zip binder is usually bigger than most because of the zip the binder has to be taller over here and longer over here. You can see that very clearly, especially at the bottom, to accommodate the zipper. But a snap closure binder is slightly smaller <coughs> and slightly more narrow. And with a snap closure, I'll be sure to close it all the time because with a zip binder, I can't just keep zipping it and unzipping it. So it usually just looks like this, unzipped. And then at my desk, it's always open to the day itself, which is August 25. It's a holiday, <coughs> but I'm in the office <coughs> to do some work. So that's it. This is my battle binder. And I've already mentioned the two other binders with large rings that are coming my way. And why the second binder does not work anymore. And an extra bonus. This is a really, really good case. It's quite expensive, but it's really worth it. I can even bring my iPhone to swim. So, that's it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, bye!